Right, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to give you a turbo tutorial on the uh, 1D rotator. So let's just create a 1D rotator here, like so. And uh, this is a a tool that simply rotates stuff in one in, around this axle here. That's all it does, and it does it in different ways, of course, so depending on what you set it up to do. So here we have the response factor, which means how smoothly it uh, translate uh, moves to the new state. I will just bind this uh, to my shift and control key here, so we have immediate responses uh, from the input. I will not use my gamepad. So if we just hit record here, we'll see that it's smooth and nice, like that it goes into its positions. Now, if I want to change this to um, trinary state, that simply means that uh, I uh, push, if I push my shift key, it just goes there and it stays there and wait until I push shift again, like that. And the same goes for the other side. Now, why is it 90 degrees? Well, it's very simple because this is half a pi and half pi in radians is 90 degrees so um, if you want to increase that one to say uh, 3.14 that is uh, uh, which is uh, 180 degrees 3.14 approximately and do it again well then we just go all the way around like so. And uh, next thing is, uh, let's put this to zero. That means it just immediately, uh, let's put this to 1.5 again. It, 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 the response is immediate. Uh, and if I put this to zero, it doesn't even have any uh, velocity maximum that it uh, has to apply. So it's just bang, 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 bang. Now, if I want this to be a little bit more machine-like, I would put this uh, rotation speed limiter to, say, 0.3. Just uh, push record here. And if I hit the shift now, then... Mm -hmm. So you see, it limits the speed, which is much more machine-like. So that's nice. Uh, the last thing I have here is the uh, integration stuff. So, integrate simply means that it just continues rotating. So if I just push the shift and then let go, it stops. And if I hit it again, it continues. And if I hit the control key, it goes backwards. So that's all it does. And the speed with which it rotates is this maximum then, of course. Okay, so uh, the last thing I'm going to sh tell you is how to use it. Um, except for machine parts and stuff, this cage here is the one that you mount to stuff because it always follows this its parented uh, link to it. So uh, it's just a convenient way to, to actually move it around with. So let's say, for example, uh, let's... Uh, let's do like this. We create a four wheel extended here, not two, one, and uh, we create one 1D rotator here. Then the nice thing here about this uh, rotator is that you can actually couple it to uh, say that we get a response factor of zero, which means immediate, and the maximum is. Well, let's say three radians, that's approximately 150 degrees, say. And we say the change limit is zero. Uh, and then we don't map it to the keyboard, we map it to the four wheel extended. So we choose the four wheel extended here and select one of the outputs that, uh, that the four wheel, ex wheel extended have. So this is the velocity. Now, this is the absolute velocity. This is percent of max. So, if I hit that, uh, select this one, uh, it will be given me the percent of max, which is actually 
uh, the speed, speed uh, like a speedometer. So let's just uh, like this. Let's rotate this one to say here. That's the starting point for it, and we we mount this to to the car here like that, and then we have a look from the uh, follow cam of the car, which now has terrible clipping planes, that happens sometimes, let's just change that quickly here, alrighty, backwards or forwards, I don't know, let's see, Going one, right, because it's uh, in the world of this one, which is a bit different from from uh, others. Uh, let's see. I will just move this one here so we can see that the speed is actually changing while I'm driving. So uh, for this one, I will simply mount it to the. Uh, it's already mounted to the gamepad, and if I hit record now, you will see that the the 1D rotator there will actually show my speed in the percent of max so now I'm actually driving maximum speed if I push the booster then it uh, goes on and on yeah like that so now I hit the brakes and we come to a stop drive again so I can actually drive these uh, these uh, objects with outputs from the vehicles okay that's all I had to say thank you very much